I was waiting for you, but you are here now. Excellent. I scoured the internet this week to find you the juiciest part of the giant pie that is Microsoft Azure. There was a lot of news and excitement coming out of Microsoft Connect on December 4th, and I have handpicked a few parts that are particularly delicious. This time on the show, Azure Machine Learning Services is now in general availability. Business Critical Service tier in Azure SQL Database Managed Instance in general availability. Azure Cosmos DB.NET SDK version 3 is in public preview. And announcing Azure API Management for serverless architectures. Phew, it's a full show this week. Now the big news, or at least the bit that got the most attention by far, was the general availability of the Azure Machine Learning Services. The service contains many advanced capabilities designed to simplify and accelerate the process of building, training, and deploying machine learning models. It is the best friend of both scientists using advanced learning algorithms, as well as providing DevOps capabilities such as enabling experiment tracking management of model deployments. And if you have worked with ML or AI before, the tooling should be familiar. Azure has maintained the Jupyter Notebooks as the development environment, which can be on your local machine or hosted within Azure itself. You can use Visual Studio Code using the Python extension as an example, and you suddenly have IntelliSense, debugging, and other modern development features. One of the customer examples for using Azure ML services is TAL, a 150-year-old leading life insurance company in Australia. And they are embracing AI to improve quality assurance and customer experience. And now, the product named by engineers. Ready? The Business Critical Service tier in Azure SQL Database Managed Instance. Yeah, I know. It is now in general availability. It is a very welcome service, though, for companies with mission-critical SQL workloads that want to migrate from on-prem to the cloud. The Business Critical tier is built for applications with the highest performance and availability requirements, and it is an optimal choice for mission-critical workloads. These performance and availability capabilities are delivered via several isolated always-on replicas and super-fast local SSD storage, resulting in minimal latency and the highest I.O. throughput. Now, instance-level collations and Azure Active Directory logins are now in preview for the service as well. There's point-in-time restore for backup retention, auto-failover groups, new security features with BYOK, bring your own key, built-in firewall, and new scalability and flexibility initiatives. Version 3.0 of the SDK is now in public preview and targets .NET Standard 2.0 and features numerous usability and performance improvements, including a new, more intuitive object model and support for streams. The SDK also joins the Java, JavaScript, and Python SDKs in being open source on GitHub. Hooray for open source, we like that. There is a new programming model designed to remove noise from the APIs and splits the root classes up more logically. Unit testing is made easier with the new hierarchical programming model, which includes making all types mockable. You can plug in your own middleware pipeline components as well, and there is a bunch more changes worth checking out. A Cloud Guru is all built on serverless architecture, and that is in no small way due to our founder, Sam VM Slayer Krunenberg. He's been on countless missions with his posse of fellow Slayers and eradicated any VM within 100 kilometers of the A Cloud Guru orbital headquarters. He was therefore very pleased when this week Azure API Management for Serverless Architectures was announced. Available right now and released at the Connect event, Azure customers can choose the new consumption tier when they are creating a new API Management instance. This consumption tier, essentially a variant of API Management designed and implemented around serverless principles, will allow more customers to enjoy the benefits of API Management and will become a more organic fit for the emerging breed of applications built using serverless technologies. Now this week was particularly full of new Azure goodies, but we can't fit any more into this episode of Azure this week. However, I do recommend you go and read up on the rest. There are some great new services and features. So in this episode, we covered Azure Machine Learning Services, which is now in general availability. This is a major step forward in allowing more developers into the world of ML and AI. And then the one we all love, the very, very brilliant naming of Business Critical Service Tier in Azure SQL Database Managed Instance, which is now in general availability. 
Azure Cosmos DB .NET SDK version 3 is also in public preview, and Azure API management for serverless architectures was announced much to the delight of Sam VM Slayer Cronenberg. See you next week for a special Christmas episode of the show. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.